Here is the resistance band setup that I use with a bar and platform in order to build muscle from my home gym. Let's take a look. Now for my setup, I do use a few items to complete each of the exercises. First off, you will need resistance loop bands, and I will be demonstrating with the Undersun resistance loop bands. Next up, you will need a bar that connects to the bands, and I'm going to be using the Instar resistance bands bar, which is a 38 inch bar that can withstand up to 800 pounds of resistance. Moving along, you will need triangle links to connect the bar to the bands. And these ones are the M10 uh, triangle delta links, which are 3 8 inches so that you can connect the bands properly to the bar. And lastly, you will need a platform to stand on, and I am using what's called the step platform. It is a 4 inch platform off the ground that has little areas underneath it that allow the bands to slide right underneath and secure them in place. Now you might be asking, why do I use the bar and the platform with the bands themselves? Why not just use bands alone? The main reason for me on why I use both the platform and the bar is for comfortability. I hate any exercise where the bands go over your palms. Yes, I actually have the Undersun gloves that have padding on the outsides, but even when doing something like bicep curls and you're holding that, there is a lot of pressure going around the outside of your palms. And for the platform, my main goal there is to protect my ankles from caving inwards. So something like a deadlift when doing this, when you pull up, your feet will actually kind of bend inwards when you're using a lot of resistance. Um, I've also seen this when I'm doing like seated cable rows. As I pull towards myself, my ankles tend to want to bend uh, with the bands themselves. So by using and standing on a platform, I don't have to worry about this at all. And also the platform itself standardizes the total amount of tension being placed throughout the band itself. So if you're not using the platform, you can change the width of your feet and that throughout your exercise to make it easier or harder, but it's hard to track that over time. So by having the actual platform, it's always going to be the same for me, allowing me to easily track what bands I was using um, to progress over time in my training. So what is it that I like about this resistance bands setup? First off, with the platform, you are able to pre-stretch the bands that additional four inches. So instead of just stepping on the bands and getting ready to go, you get on the platform and when you get into that position, you already have it a little bit pre-stretched so you're not losing all of the tension at the end range of motion. So for something like a bicep curl, when you go all the way down, you're not gonna completely remove all of the tension as there will be a little bit because you're standing on that platform. This also goes for things like squats. Now for me, at around five feet, 11 inches tall, the platform itself is very good. Again, you can't go super wide, so I can't be doing like sumo deadlifts or sumo squats because my feet would go off the ends. It, again, it's only about 28 inches wide, but I can get into a regular squat positioning um, where I'm just like maybe about shoulder width or a little more than shoulder width apart with my feet and do squats very easily from there. Now from before, I mentioned that I hate holding the band through my palms, and that is why I really love using the bar. I found with the bar itself, it is way, way, way more comfortable. The thing I do lose while using the bar is something like a chest press. I'm not able to kind of come in and um, adduct my uh, hands together and my chest together to really get that solid contraction. So that's something I do lose, but you're still gonna be able to get a lot of chest development by simply doing the chest press itself and squeezing as much as you can at those uh, peak ranges of motion. So make sure that you still are pressing with the chest, not your arms in the movement, and you'll still see a lot of good growth as long as you're pushing each of the exercises to proper failure. Now the bar is also 38 inches wide. This makes it a lot easier for me to do just about any exercise I need because there's enough width for me to put my hands really anywhere I need to for just about any exercise I can think of. Now I do wish it wasn't quite as wide. They could probably bring it in a couple inches, but I can deal with this and it works very well for all the exercises I've tried so far. And the last reason I really like this setup is that the step platform has these little grooves at the bottom where the bands can actually slide right into and get positioned perfectly for me to do all of my exercises so that it's not just sitting squarely on the floor. It actually comes up into those indentations and sits very well for me to complete each one of my exercises. So now what are some problems with the setup that I've created? The first and probably the biggest issue I have with it is that it's not good for traveling. The bar being 38 inches long and you can't separate it in any way, it's just always gonna be that length. It's really, really hard to travel with that. It will not fit in a suitcase. 
Also, the platform itself being four inches thick, 14 inches wide, and 28 inches long will definitely not fit in this suitcase either. So those are very hard to travel with, and that's probably my biggest con I can see with this overall. Also, the setup can be a little funky to get into when you first start using it. An example would be doing something like squats. You really have to get down into a seated position in order to get the bar up into that locked front squat position and then stand up pressing against the resistance to actually get into your starting exercise positioning. So it's not the best way to actually get into an exercise, but it's really not all that hard to do after you do it a few times. It's just the first times you do it, it might be a little awkward. Also, you have to make sure you get the bands underneath the platform itself, which again at first can be a little strange to do, but now that I've done it so many times, I can do it very, very quickly. Now, if you are someone who is looking to avoid noise when you're doing my workouts, this might not be the best option as the triangle links themselves can clang around a bit, especially when you are putting it on the floor or changing out the bands themselves for different exercises. I found that it can be a little loud. The room I'm in now is pretty far away from our bedroom, so there's a couple doors in between us from where I am, so it's no longer really an issue in terms of noise, but if you're someone who's maybe like a room over, it could become a problem there. And now the last problem I've run into is that when setting up the bands in the triangle links, they can come out if you don't close the opening portion of it enough. So there's a little turn dial on the triangle links that open and close it. So once you put the band through the triangle, make sure you close it enough so that when you go to the other side to put that side in, that the one you just completed doesn't come out of the triangle link. This can be annoying sometimes at first, but I've done it so many times now that it's just second nature for me to close a little bit and I never run into this issue. So now that I've used this for over six months, what do I think of this resistance bands bar setup and comparing it to something like the X3 bar? So as you can tell, I'm very happy with this setup. I do like the pre-stretching of the four inches off the floor. The bar is excellent and under some bands have done great with the triangle links. Nothing feels like it's breaking down. Everything works very, very well. And I'm very happy with the durability of all the products so far. With that being said, I am looking into some better travel options, whether that be I just take the bands and gloves or if I can find something else to actually travel with for a step platform, but Overall, it's very good. And I know that the X3 bar that's out there right now, which is similar to the setup, might be able to travel with because you have that 19 inch bar, a smaller standing plate. But for me, I'm not going to go out and spend the $500 to get that product. You may want to do that if, because it's pretty much the exact same thing as this and has a little bit different connections with the bar and the bands. But I'd find a 19 inch bar to be way too small. And the platform itself also pretty hard to use, especially for things like front squats, where I want my feet to be a little wider. So with that being said, let's take a look at can you actually build muscle with using resistance bands and the setup that I've presented here? And the answer to that is yes. Resistance bands can help you build muscle. Are they the most optimal option in the world? No, they do produce variable resistance, which is good, but they tend to actually provide the most resistance, not at the best part in the strength curve for many exercises. Now, a lot of other equipment also don't match these strength curves that well. However, being that's variable resistance, you really are lacking a lot of the actual potential of the resistance at the strongest part of your lift. So it's not that resistance bands can't do it. They are just not the most optimal option. You actually probably need a gym with equipment to get something like that. So with all of that said, what are my thoughts and future expectations with this resistance band setup? Now I plan to continue looking at pieces of equipment, whether that be bands, platforms, triangle links, bars, whatever it might be to help continue enhance this to make it as good as possible over time. So you might see new equipment come in here and there or me unboxing and trying things out, but I really love the start of this. It is a great way to do it. You could buy this right now and get some really good results as long as you use it properly um, in your home training. One thing I do have my eye on is the Instar bar that you can actually split in two so you can take it apart and it might make it easier to travel. So you have basically two 19 inch pieces that you could then put in like a travel bag and take along with your resistance bands. And then from there, looking at step platforms that maybe I can like fold up or are smaller, that again, allow me to get in that travel mode. That's kind of like where my mindset is, where I really want to figure out a way to keep this entire thing going with being able to travel with it. My setup is great right now, but is there a way I can also set it up so I can travel with it easily? And with that, make sure you go ahead and smash that like button and I will see you in the next video. Be fit and game on.